Again, this is the second video today, so don't forget to go back and watch the um, Purple Passions introduction that was where we introduced our um, Purple Passions. Let's do a little chatting for a few minutes before we get into what I'm doing. If you look at this, you're thinking, what is Nana Kay up to? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of videos, another series, I guess, maybe and maybe not. And this may be the only one. May not have enough content to have a series. We're gonna, we're gonna see. Depends on how you guys react to it. So be watching my views, and if this seems to pique your interest, we're going on. The name of the series will be called "From Greeting Card to Journal." Okay. I, I, I a year, almost a year ago was looking for a card rack to go in my shop when we were re remodeling the um, craft shop here. And um, and when I found I found a, a, uh, a man that had uh, several racks, and he said he had a few boxes of greeting cards, too. And I said, well, we don't need the greeting cards. I need the racks because I make my own greeting cards. I don't really need them. He said, well, um, I have to sell it all. It was a storage bin that he had, and he'd had it for 15 years, plats, you know, for these um, racks that he needed to get rid of. So we get to the, our location, my husband and I, driving just my little minivan, and we get to the storage unit, and it's not exceptionally large, so so that was a relief to us because we didn't have to get, we didn't feel like we were going to have to rent a, another vehicle to um, haul off the racks. We get in there, and the man only has 15 racks in the storage unit. Which I didn't need but two, so I thought, well, with the extras, I'll just sell the extras, so we, we, we decided we were going to take it. When he opens the door, the unit is stopped from floor to ceiling on one whole, uh, about three quarters of it, because the, the 15 racks was on one side. Three quarters of that building was stopped from floor to ceiling with big boxes like this. Full of reading card gods still in the cellophane tags never opened never used just um he estimated that i had somewhere around 20 to thirty thousand cards i like to have a heart attack i said what will i do with thirty thousand green cards there's no way i'll ever sell thirty thousand green cards but I needed the racks. The price was okay. 15 racks, it was perfect. So we hauled every one of these boxes home. And they've been sitting in my back storage unit, taking up space. And I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Well, we also started to be on another um, series of taking our scraps, and we were going to be making our own junk journal, making a, a full junk journal, which is what I'm in the process of trying to do to use up some of my stuff. I'm going to be making a whole lot of just junk journals using up my 12 and 12 pads, my 6 and 6 pads. Um, these, these pieces here were made with 12 and 12 pads folded over. And as I told you in the video for doing um, the journey with the true junk journal with Nana K, that series is that one, uh, a journey to it a true junk journal um i told you you had to have a good strong base to start with so i started out with this one and we've been working on it and we're going to continue to work on this one guys don't give up on me we, we've got we've got the first thing that you're done we've got three more to go so that series keep that in your in the back of your mind uh, a true a journey with nana k to a true junk journal so that that series is still going i'm still working on it but I was trying to make space because I also told you my video, one of my videos, that I probably didn't need to buy supplies for over two and a half years, and I'm not kidding. But the problem is, I can't find all my stuff because I've got box after box after box of these in front of my cabinets and places, and I cannot get it done. But I said, Lord, help me figure out what to do. So, I said, all right, what I'm going to do is just throw them in the back of the car and let my husband haul them off to the junkyard. Well, I go in there and I pull out the first box, and um, uh, this is what I come up with, three little cards like this. And when I open it up, 
I opened it up just to kind of look at the cards, and I pulled it out, and I had a really nice envelope, a, a really nice envelope. I said, oh, I'm not going to throw that away, so I set the envelope aside. Then I've got this left over, and I said, well, that'll make window um, cards and things and and specimen cards for a journal. So I said, well, I'm not going to throw this away. You got to see where this is going, right? All right, out of that pack, I done saved the envelope. I done saved that. Then I get to the card, and I said, well, that's a nice, strong card. I don't want to throw that away. I won't have to buy cardstock for a long time if I use this to back some of my journal cards. And then on the front here are these beautiful little um, three-dimensional elements. And if I take my glue gun, and I didn't bring it over here, but if I take my glue gun and heat the back of the card, these things pop right off like that. And so I thought, well, gosh, I can use these on cards and tags. Yeah, you see where this is going. Another pile of something I decided to save. Same thing here. I'm going to pull this one off, even though I, I'll use glue gun to get the rest of it off. Really pretty little design. I thought, well, that's pretty on tags. So I said, I'm not going to throw that away. So then my brain really goes to work, and I'm like, oh, wow. We're going to start doing junk journals, and we need good, strong backs to do the junk journals on. And these cards are really a good, really thick card. So I thought, I'm not going to throw these cards away. I I'm going to have to buy cardstock for 10 years if I use this cardstock. I mean, I can cut these down really easily into tags by just cutting it off and just using that to sandwich um, some paper on top of. And I've got all the cardstock I would need for the next 10 years. So, here's what I've ended up with, guys. You are going to not believe what Nana tastes on. But, this is what I'm ending up with. I put the card. I took, I, I ripped off all the little things that were on the front. I saved the plastics. Like, this is one of the plastics I saved. And I, and, and some of the stuff is a little still sticky on the front, so I'm going to have to wipe them off with some alcohol or something. It doesn't matter, but we're going to cover these up. But what I ended up doing is making, taking a pack of, uh, several packs of the cards, getting them ready, and every four cards I sandwiched together to make a signature, to make me a signature. And I put four signatures in a pack, so from this point on, our journey doing junk journals, we'll be using these cards as our heavy base. Now you can do two and just make, uh, this, this would be 16, 36 page journal. Is that right? I'm right, y'all. I got a count. I, I get dumb finding sometimes. Two, four, six, eight, sixteen, sixteen, thirty-two. 16, 32. Yeah, two of them will make a 32 page journal. And that's not a bad mini journal. And they're, and they're mini journals because this isn't very big. This card is only, let me get in here and measure, guys. This is a seven by, they're seven by five. Five by seven card. So I'm packaging these in uh, groups of four. And I may sell these individually. I don't know. But for right now, I'm just packaging them up for me to use as my bases instead of me having to take my, um, 12 or 12s and make my own bases, I'm going to use these bases. Oh, wow, well, I'm being so nutty on them. But anyway, no, I couldn't throw the cards away. I just could not bring myself when the Lord blessed me with such a sign to throw these away. I just couldn't do it. So, this is what I've got, and I've already got somewhere around 100 of these already um, sorted and packed. I've only gone through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe 9 or 10 of these boxes have all gone through so far. And I have probably around 500 boxes like this, this size. So that's what I have been doing the last few days in between making these videos. We're going to be taking and making these. It just It's just a simple, simple process to pull those off, get the card down to this thin, stack them in four, um, pre-package them, and make them into groups of four. So if I sell these, 
I'm going to say, yeah, that'll be, you make one journal or two journals out of them. That may be something I'm going to do. I haven't decided. But I thought today we would, I would let you see me just disassemble, disassemble them and repackage them for a few minutes so you can see the process. You can do this too, guys. It does not have to be exactly matching cards. You can do two or three different sizes if you want to. I ran across a couple of cards. Let me show you this. Give me, let me stop the video just a second. Grab something else. Cause here's another size I have. I have hundreds of boxes also of the music. They had music boxes in them, and I went in and dismantled the music boxes. Of course, they weren't any good. Uh, so these are a larger one. These are um, eight by six by eight or eight by six. So these are a little larger, but that'll make probably about the size, actual size that we're working on now. Just a little bit smaller than the one we actually started in our um, two jump drum series. And now this is Christmas not darling, guys. This is taking something that you're going to throw away. And you might have Christmas cards left over, birthday cards, anniversary cards. You might get lucky enough to yeah, get your neighbor to save their green cards for you or, or you know, or go to a um, yard sale and find green cards. Don't throw your green cards away, guys. They're going to be green cards. Believe it or not, we purchased the green cards. So th that was one of the things that I discovered. Then I had some of my cards that that have you know open up they got pop up folk pop up stuff and I and I'm gonna show you some of those when I dismantle those too. They had pop up stuff and um for some reason it, it just it, it just didn't balance out and be able just to come back up with just a flat card. You know, we, we couldn't come back up with that, that just that flat card like this. It, it, it had some something. Anyway, I ended up with this one. This is what I'm going to do with these. I ended up having to cut um, a piece of the panel off of it, and I ended up with just, and I had to cut part of the front off because there was something on it, and I really can't remember what it was. But anyway, I ended up with this size card, which is a approximately, it's just a little less than a four by seven and a half. So um, I also am going to get um, what I call travel journal size cards or travel journal size signatures out of these cards. So that's another size that I've got. So I've actually got three size cards here um, that I'm going to be able to take and remake into other type of journals. So we're going to be able to get travel journals and um, just regular two sizes of the junk journals. Um, this particular card here, was a wedding card that had a three, it opened up into three levels, but there was a lot of scallop cutting on it, and I couldn't use the scallop, and I'm going to grab the other piece of it and show you. It opened up with this little extra scallop edge, and I thought, well, I, I don't know exactly what I'll do with that, but I cut them off and saved them anyway, because for no other reason, if I don't know anything, I cut tags out of them, that they're fine. I saved these, and then I, I, I whacked this one down, because again, it didn't work out to be flat open like the car did, and I made a travel size out of this one. So, this one again is, this one is 8 by little less than four, eight by four. So that's another travel size that I've got. So that's what I'm going to be doing for my bases. Instead of using the 12 by 12 pads, I'm going to be making my base cards for my junk journals that we're, we're putting all the little um, line. If you know, we, if you walk on me at all, you know that I'm printing the line pages. I'm putting a lot of, I'm putting a lot of my, I put line pages like this and there, folded up different ways in my junk journal to make it a real true junk journal. And then, to add to it, excuse me a second, I'm not the bunch of stuff on the floor, and I hope my voice isn't muffled because a lot of times when I bend over, you can't really hear me. And then, I had so many of these pages left over from my books. I've gone in and I've gone ahead and started cutting them down to different shapes and sizes, like stamp sizes, small sizes. I started cutting these down. So I'm getting ready to put these into junk journals. These are from my books that I actually alter my books for to make those. I've got those cutting down. And I will be soon starting to cut down all my pads into different sizes. Uh, right here on the desk, 
Let me see if I can zoom out so you can see. Give me just a second. My husband's got me a cabinet here. There you go. You can barely see it. But there's my cabinet. And now, up in here, I'm starting to put a lot of my fussy cuts so that I can actually grab them. I'm going to start make, mass making these journals. So that's another thing. If you can find something with little slots in it, like this thing has little slots, you can actually put the um, packaging of your... Um, and now I got to kind of flatten that all out. I don't know. That's okay. It's okay. Just get the pocket back in there. But you can put your um, fussy cuts in something like this and have them right on hand on here. And you can change them out every once in a while. Matter of fact, on here, you'll find that I've got a lot of my um, journal cards that I've got prepackaged here. More fussy cuts. Um, smaller tags here. Um, I've got my uh, rubber stamps on this side right here. Some of my threads and this little thing. So um, this is a, like a flea market find that you can help get your desk organized where you've got things that you can grab onto. So that's a little chit chat for um, for this video. I've done chat of 15 minutes. I'm going to go grab my hot glue gun and we're going to disassemble this and let, I'm going to let you see how I am working on this. And when I get a new pack, which is what this one is, I go ahead and unpack, unpack my box. I'm flattening my boxes out because my precious little husband, what the fuck, is going to haul off all these boxes. Now, the problem with all this rearranging that I'm doing now is that I, I still got to have space for all this stuff. But really, if I unbox all this stuff and move it around, I feel like we're going to find out that, that I can free up some of my space in my um, other craft later or, or a lot of my stuff is. I mean, I am really determined this year, along with videoing and sharing my experiences in this um, drumming world with you guys, I am really determined that because of my age and the fact that I've been so critically ill, I want to make sure that when I decide to leave this world, that my daughter and my granddaughter, who both practice with me, to find things. That's a whole other purpose of it. So I flatten my boxes out. My husband's going to haul them all. So give me just a second. Let me get my hot glue gun. And we're going to disassemble some of these cards and let you see the experience that we're going through doing that and how you can go about it too. Hold on, please. Okay. This up a little. I might, I might zoom in just a little bit more. But right over here to my right... You're going to see this little stand. It's just a piece, two pieces of scrap wood my husband had. I said, honey, I need um, something to put my hot glue gun on so that it doesn't keep melting my tables. So he just built me this little stand. And uh, he also built me this little stand uh, to put my fiber tack, my fabric tack pack in so that it's always ready to pour out. Um, I'm a junk drawer, but that's how it started out. If you were to see my whole shop, everything is having that other people threw out when we, we bought home with us, took them off the side of the road, uh, found them in storage bins, painted them, reworked them. My whole shop is reworked just like a drum. So I am a true junkie. Junk junkie. I, I do junk journals. My furniture are refurbished furnishings. My tables are... Um, Again, stuff I got out of storage units. Uh, I got a few new things like my little cubies, my little 6x6 six six cubies. Those, those come from Walmart. I got a few new things, but for the most part, I am a true uh, junk junkie, and that's what I am, a junk junk junkie. My husband and I have gone junk for, for years and years. All right, so much about my shop and everything. Let's go through the process of breaking some of these cards down. We're going to do, we're going to do several types. I hope I can find the several types because I want you to see how to expand it out too if, if there's anything establishing those. Um, again, I just pulled that little heart off this one here. And there's a little bit of that little sticky mess left. So I hate my, I, I hate the back of the page up just a little bit. And sometimes it does kind of warp the um, card a little, but I don't worry about it because I do have a press that I can do. But see, I, I'm pulling that right off and throwing that in the garbage. In the garbage can right handy. 
<laughs> yeah, I got cards like this that, that span out too, and I, I haven't yet found a, quite a use for that, so I've talked to people right now. I'll probably regret it because later on I'll probably find something, but then anyway, I've got to pull just a little bit more off this one. I wish I hadn't pulled it off because they come off so much better if they get heated up the first time you pull them. Then you'll have to sit here and do this, but it's a learning process. You, you'll see, there you go. So you can pull it all off when it heats up and gets all that off. So you got a nice flat card to work with. And that's, that's my goal is to have this reading card where I can actually cut some of my, um, 12 by 12 sheets down that are, are, are real thin. I got some books that are just paper, not cardstock that I can lay over that. So that's, there's one done. Okay, and I and usually when I'm doing a box, I try to do a whole box at a time. So here's the process: I go and I, I open up my um plastic, and then I grab my card and my envelope, pull it off. I save this plastic. I got a tub that I'm saving all these in, so I've got plenty of these. Write me if you need some. I might be willing to send you some because I'm going to have some extras. Then I have an area I'm putting envelopes, and I've got. I'm going to show you a few of them. I've got a ton of envelopes now that I've pulled from these cards. Tons and tons of them. Right here at my desk. Close by. I'm going to show you something we're going to do with those too. I, I heat the back of this up right in the area where both of those three-dimensional um, things are put. Just heat it up a little. So just a little. It doesn't take much. Especially once the glue gun, gun gets good and hot. Glue gun gets good and hot. Goodness, I can't talk today. And then I pull this aside and pull this aside. And over here to my right, I have a little tub that I'm throwing all these in. Now, you can, if you want, take the time. I've done some and I haven't done some. These are still a little bit sticky. And they will stick together inside your um, bucket over here with your clip art. So you can heat them up and pull these strips off if you want to. For the sake of time for me, I quit doing it. And I'm just putting them in a little bucket, and I will do that part later when I get ready to actually use them. Um, I don't think they're going to stick so bad that I can't continue to pull them apart, and that's what the hot glue gun, I mean, not the hot glue, the heat guns, uh, heat tool, hot air tool, it does. It really helps you pull all that off. So put that in that little bucket, and we have a second one. And like I say, we're stacking these in stacks of four, so there's two. So what I'm doing now, while I'm opening it, and to save myself a lot of headache and a lot of time and stay as organized as I can possibly stay with the amount of chaos that this does make in my shop, because it does make a, a lot of stack, you know, got a stack of plastic, stack of envelopes, stack of um, extra little um, three-dimensional pieces of clip art. I'm trying to stay organized. So I'm trying to do whatever steps I can as I go along. So I'm pulling this off of this one again. Pulling it off. Pulling it off. And these will make beautiful little um, in, um pieces to go on top of um some of your journal tags and journal cards. Again, we got the third one, so we'll go ahead and put it in the stack. <laughs> this is where you get bored, guys. If you don't want to watch it, I'm gonna do one more. And then what I'm doing now, to stay again as organized as I possibly can with this thing here, putting everything in its right stack for now, I am trying to package these also as I go along. So what I'm doing while I am dismantling them, I am also preparing the base signature that we'll be using. So now, there's my four. So that for me is a base signature. So that gives us eight and eight, 16. Four and four is eight, eight and eight is 16. I guess that gives us a 16 page journal. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, 16. Uh, four and four, 16. I should know that. Okay. 
that gives me my base signature. And what I'm doing now is I will do enough packs of this to get three more of these. And then I'll go ahead and package them into a little pack like this. And then I have a storage unit over to my right. I am piling them all in there so that when I'm ready to grab me one, I've got everything three packets. So I'm not going to sit here and make you look at every single one, but we're going to open up some different, we're going to find different ones. Let me show you the techniques of, that I am using on different ones. Um, this one actually does not have anything that's really salvageable. This is a card. This is a nice card, no doubt. I mean, it's got, it's got good, it's got good, clean, Cellophane, this cellophane's not even as wrinkled as the other pack. Doesn't look like heat's got to it quite as bad. So that's a nice piece of cellophane for a window. Um, this is the first time I pulled this card out. The only thing that's three-dimensional on here are the two headlights. I don't think I have any real purpose for those. I'll save a few, but I'm not going to try to save this whole case. Matter of fact, I think about eight cases will get this one design card back there. But I'm going to pull that off and pull that off. Okay. Now, you got two options you can do here with this, this particular um card. This card, you can actually go ahead and start making your um, signatures like this by stacking four together. But it doesn't matter. You're going to cover all this up. Or it's a little big, but if you wanted to, you could cut this out as clip art. You know, you could salvage it that way too. That, that's really a just total preference. But that's that's all that would have to be done to that card. Now, let me go find one of the musical cards and show you how um, this is assembling it. Got two different types, so we're going to start with this one. This is a musical card that we have in these uh, in all these cards bundled all up back there. Of course, we're still going to save our cellophane. This one's a little harder for me to get into. I don't know why they they. I guess because they don't have a lid or something like that at the top. But anyway, I, I managed to get into it. And sometimes I split these when I pull the cards out. I just have a little more difficulty. But anyway, I salvaged that. We're going to put it over in the side. We're going to go ahead and put the card up. This has a bad rip in the card. And I am finding this to be a lot of these. But I'll still use this one. Part of it anyway. Okay, when you open it up, this is how the um these are. These have um this little, a third flap put <laughs> down. So I try my best to get that flap up without ripping the inside of the card. I've not been real successful at it. It's probably because I don't have my glue gun, I mean my hot air gun hot enough when I'm trying to pull this up. Or even whoever assembled these really glue this down good better than the others. But anyway, um that one came up it's fairly reasonable. I'm gonna do this one more time. Right where I know the ghoul is, right there. And I'm slow to pull it up as I go. Yeah, right now it really wants to give me a hard time. We're really gonna make it hot hot and see if that can do it. And it's still gonna rip the page just a little bit, but we're gonna go up with it. I don't know why this one doesn't want to cut loose. It's a problem that I am running into with um, these musical cards. For some reason, I'm having more difficulty getting the glue off these. I don't know if it was a different type of glue they used. And, uh, and it's not all of them. It's just some of them that does this. But anyway, we still were able to get it. We're still got our base here. We've got this little piece here. We're going to get it out. And I go ahead and pull this off because if I don't, sometimes this, these things start playing music when I put them in the trash can and it's other than just being annoying. No problem. You need to be very careful, guys, because there is a battery. Batteries may may or may not explode with this heat, so I'm having to be very cautious about how much heat I'm putting through that. But I pull the mechanism off, and I go ahead directly and dispose of it. I am putting the battery, the metal parts, in a whole different trash container because I'm not sure if we can throw those little batteries away in our waste area. So I'm being cautious and being, I'm just being cautious and trying to be, um, is it echo friendly? That's what I'm trying. Okay, now what you end up with is this. I do not need all this. I don't need, I really don't want this third flap. Although you really might could make uh, some, you know, use this. Um, you could fold it probably, make a pocket. 
inside, you know, that this is up to you. Come up with your own ideas. I'm not going to, I mean, I, I may change my mind and find people that I can use, but what I'm going to do with this particular one, and I'm usually doing this in my guillotine because I can do it so much quicker, but since I'm trying to video and show y'all, I go in and I cut off this piece right here. Oh, that's a, I'm cutting off that piece right there. All right. I'm looking at my car to make sure. And then if it's not equal, this is where I actually went in and decided, okay, I kind of want to take these taller ones and make my travel journal. So what I'm, do I'm doing with these, this is where I'm making the travel journal at, guys. And let me see if I can remember how to open this little rascal. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down, and I'm going to find my four-inch mark right there. And I'm doing the same thing again. I'm going to split this piece off. I'm saving these two pieces. These make perfect pieces for belly bands. Uh, a small tag, you know, you can cut it up and make a small tag. I'm saving these. I'm not throwing them away. Uh, that's just me. But what I ended up with on this one now, as you see, is the travel journal size right here. I, I really got it pretty smooth. There's a little bit of a lump there, but if you use a good quality paper on top of this, you may can get it off, or you can probably take your hot glue gun and continue to pull these little stickers off. Anyway, that's going to be my travel journal size used with that. Then I have this other piece left over right here. And I, I take a good look at it. So there's some options here you may want to do. And I'm going to be right crazy here, right technical. Okay. Here is something I would not want to throw away. This is really cute right here. This says in gold, beautiful gold foil print, it says, have a happy day. All right. Guess what I'm going to do with that? That little thing right there is going to go into my labels and, and my tag. Anyway, that's my word art. So I've got a piece of word art here that says half a half day of foil. That can go into a journal. So that goes in with my clip art over there. And then this little um, bear here, it's kind of cute. So what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to go grab something else. Bear with me, I'm having a holler across the room so you can hear me. Uh, there again, I told you my desk is U-shaped and my chair rolls all around. I'm going to take my big scallop punch, if it'll work. i to cut a little more of it off because it's not quite going to fit in there. I want to get all that little bear in, so we're going to cut a little more off. So I can get my whole scallop around it. Okay, there we go. Gonna fit this in here. And I'm gonna salvage this little piece of art this way. Okay, so I salvaged that. This this is garbage. No need to save it on that. Um, I've got several size punches, as you see, so when I do come in with car parts and pieces that, that I can punch like that, I'm using my um shapes. So there I've got a pretty little shape. Two bears in the scalp design. Perfect on a belly band or something. So that's that card. This card still got some more art. It says a birthday wish from me to you with hope and love in all you do. Um, I, I don't use most of that. I, I wouldn't use it as a verse. But um, there are several words. In, excuse me. There are several words in here that I would use like the word wish, I would probably like to use just as a piece of one word art. Guys, I know you think I'm being real technical, but I'm telling you, when you're junk journaling, you save what you can, and you use what you can. So there's the word wish now, cut into a little piece. I got the word hope right here. I'm going to salvage it. 
This is what I have mentioned many, many times when I'm doing prepping, and I show you there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes when I'm videotaping something and putting it together. There's a lot of work that went into the prep that you did not, that you didn't see. And these videos are raw. I don't pre-plan them. I come in here, I jump in, and you get to see me craft just like I craft every day. So you're seeing the honest to goodness what is involved in, in junk journaling for us. Um, we come in here and we just, you know, this is it. This is taking junk and, and trying to find what you can utilize out of what you've already got. So we've ended up with three words here. We've ended up with the word hope, and I know you guys can't really see it, but there's the word hope in beautiful gold foil. Here's the word wish in beautiful gold foil. And then I got the word love. And beautiful. I'll use these on a small tag or something. So that goes over here in my own label box. This goes over here in my box. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do with this one. There's another one. All right. And this is a damn musical one. Again, we're going to see what we can do. We'll pull out the envelope, put it in with our envelope stash. Save our foil. It didn't rip, so we're going to save not foil, excuse me, our plastic or our cellophane. Put our envelope over in its right stack. And then we take a look at this card. Well, I don't need the happy birthday. I don't need that word, but let's see if we can pull it apart. And now I like these little square pictures, and I, they will make nice clip art additions, and this will make a nice, nice clip art addition. So, yeah. Then there's the word special right here. I wouldn't mind doing saving that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind saving that word special. Not that I can think of right offhand with how I use it, but we're going to try to unglue this. Start with a hot glue gun right there, and I'm pulling. I'm using the gun, and I'm trying to pull as I go. I'm seeing if that's not going to make it a little better. Now this paper gets hot, so be careful, don't burn yourself. These hot air guns get really, really hot. Well, this mine does. That's why I had to make the stand because when I would pop it down on the um, surface, it would burn my surface. Uh, I don't know why this one is so tight too, but it is. But we're gonna heat it up and try to heat that glue up. Something about some of this glue just don't want to cut loose. These cars were made in China by the way. And I don't know if this company's gone out of business. I, I'm, I'm presuming so because really the quality of these cards was not... It wasn't... It definitely wasn't Hallmark. But hey, that doesn't matter. It's going to be perfect for the purpose I need it for. Alright, let's see if we can get it to loosen up one more time in this corner. Like I say, these, these little music cards I'm finding are a little more struggle than the others. And I don't know why, but I got my fingers under there and I got that up. Not too bad. Okay, not too bad. You might even rip the pages up too bad. Okay, we want to keep our stability there. We're going to cut a lot of this off anyway. Again, I'm going to, like I say, um, I've discovered that I'm making a lot of, I'm losing a lot of my integrity here. So these, these make the perfect um, travel size. All right, again, the metal straps, you need to actually... Well, that's up to you. It depends on if you recycle. I'm recycling, so I'm putting these where they won't harm anybody. Batteries also go in the special box. Okay. All right, here we go. We're right back down to our base again. Okay. This one got tortured to death, it looks like. Now, I want to decide if I want to do something different with this, if I actually want to make it into a... Um, if I actually want to make it into a... Junk journal, a travel journal, junk journal. I'm going to put this off and go ahead and slice off the, um, go ahead and slice that off. Lay that aside a second. Um, my mind is kind of working here because to make a junk journal, I'm going to have to cut it off right about, right down the middle of that flower. And for me, that flower is just screaming tag. It is. It is screaming tag. Now, there's no way with um, five or six cases of these that I would use all of them for tag. But it's screaming tag to me. So I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to line it up. And I'm going to cut. I'm going to pull this back up and bring my blade up here. I'm going to cut up 
All right, let's get it even now. I'm going to cut it up to about right there. And I'll take my scissors. I'm just seeing tag, guys. I can't help it. That's just my junk journal eye. I'm seeing a tag here. Okay? How about that? Let's get this much weight inside a minute because you're making use of something else. But I'm seeing a gorgeous little fussy cut on this side here coming out of that. And I'm seeing a tag forming into this little card here. And like I say, I will cut some of them up and make them into travel panels. But I just wanted to show you what you can do with um, card designs. You don't always have to. I mean, you just you can use a lot of like this. All right, we're going to come in and we're going to make this into a tag. We're going to cut right up that line, which for me... I want to change something. I want to get rid of that background totally. So we're going to cut right on back down that side again. Cut this out here. Yeah, I want to cut right down the gray. I think this is going to be a pretty tag. This is what you can do with this particular car. We're going to make a tag out of it. And now we can take a label and put a label on it, some more clip art, whatever. I'm going to cut the shape out. I've got a little card somewhere around right here, but you can actually just take another card. And I could actually put that there and cut that pretty shape out right there and make my tag. So let's do it. I mean, while, while we're on here doing it, let me just do it. Um, let me see about what size. I think I want it right about there. Grab one of my trusty pencils over here in the little thing. Let's see if I can get it kind of centered. I'm just eyeballing this, guys. I'd be more technical if I was actually designing this for a book. But I'm just trying to show you what you can do with these old cards. How many things you can actually do with them. But if we go here, here, and I have my own. Yeah. Okay, so there, there we go. It's not perfect right now, but we got that. Okay, and I got one other thing I can show you, and I'm going to cut it back off because I got it really uneven. I got that. Then I've got, let me see if I can find the one. It's in yellow. <laughs> this is a corner tab, I think. I hope this is the right one. Yeah, there we go. Well, you got those kind of uh, things that you can actually go in and tap out your corner. For some reason, they didn't cut it even. There we go. Maybe I used a different size. Mm, no. Maybe there it is. It's right. Oh, it's the top. It's not even. That was, that was my cutting that wasn't even. All right. We can fix that, too. Don't get too technical, though, because this is not our goal today. Yep. A little, a little, there we go. All right. Well, anyway, there's your tag that you can do. Punch a hole in it, and you got a tag. That's what I can do with some of those cards in that particular grouping. And then when you end up with one like this, there's nothing left. You can actually do the same thing. I wouldn't throw. I wouldn't throw this head of cardstock away if there's any way I could utilize it. So we're gonna make another tag here. Just take another tag and make this a tag. Put it right on the fold line. Go ahead and cut that one off. Turn it around and let's salvage as much width as we can into what we cut out. So that's another reason you need to be a little more careful when you cut it out. You don't damage. But there's another piece of possible tag or belly band. And for this one here, I got a lot of corn here. Um, I would be very hesitant to use this because especially if you're using lightweight paper to glue on top of it, but that, again, it's up to you. I would come in and I would cut off this sheet here, off it because it got damaged, got a lot of glue on it. And I would come on this side, do the same thing, look at where it's going to 
get rid of all the excess it got messed up throw that away and then you've got enough to make a, a german card you've got enough hard hard stock here to add make a german card but that was using that particular um card what we got out of it now we still got one more piece of that card we got to run much stuff out of that one card we got these beautiful pieces here so i'm going to do the same thing i don't have any word in here that that phases me so what i'm going to do with this top part of this card i'm just going to make a journal card right here i'm going to make a journal card and and the reason I'm uh, I'm not using my cutters is because this had lines and I'm able to see them. So there's me another journaling card. And then there's still a lot of glue back here. I may have to discard now. I can heat that up and finish curling that glue off. That's not torn paper. So there's another journaling card. And these pieces here, I'm gonna make stamps out of them. I'm gonna cut these off and I'm gonna throw these in my clip art pile over here to my right. And these will be stamps and just little elements that we can add to a journal. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Too distance to see me. Maybe you can see a little better. But that that's going to be a stamp. So I've got, I don't want to take up your time cutting out every one of them. So you know what I'm going to do with these. We're going to cut these off with this particular card. I got one more style of card. I really hope I can find one to show you how I dismantle it. But anyway, that's how I do this. Dismantle these things. Look what I can salvage. Again, I can do one of two things. I can make this another journal card or I can fussy cut out this pretty image right here. You cut it out as close or as far or you know, you leave some white space if you want to. I don't always leave white space. I, uh, if you watch my videos, you know, I just don't, I'm, um, I'm not crazy about white space. Some people really like the look, look of it looking like a stamp uh, or a, a sticker. Uh, I'm not crazy about that. I like to cut mine out in full. So when I put it on, it'll probably be cut completely out. But this is what you can do with this. So you've actually salvaged pretty much every bit of that card and you utilize it in several areas of your junk journal instead of just making it into the base page. This one really turned out to be a really nice card with a lot of variety to it that we could use. I really, and I don't really like that extra piece of ribbon there, but I'm going to cut it out anyway but it'll probably get you know what i don't like it i'm just gonna cut it off cut it all off okay so there's me another piece of a uh, clip art to use all right so ladies side we're gonna go try to find one more of the um car designs that i know is in there and let me show you how to disassemble that one give me just a second i won't be but a minute type of card that I have in my bunch of cards that I'm working with. It's a pop-up. Okay. Um, there is really no graphics or anything in this pop-up that I care anything about. So I just take a really good look up at it. I read the words and see if there's anything in there I want. There's not. So basically this is actually going to be turned in these this particular series is going to be turned into um signatures. So the first thing I have to do, I need to get rid of the bulk. So I'm going to lay my part on. I'm like, I use my guillotine for all this because so this is a little thick. I'm going to have to open it up. I'm going to lay it right here and I'm going to take off about one eighth of an inch if it's as possible, just a little sliver off the top. What that is going to do for me to make things a whole lot simpler is just separate the pop up from the base. And like I say, there was nothing in this pop-up I wanted. There's not enough left in there to really salvage anything unless you can just put it right here to where the pop-up is first cut. You can actually cut possibly that little bit right there off. And I still think I've ended up with, yeah, too much design. I should have turned it the other side and make sure. So you got some design over there. So let's try to cut it one more time. I can cut it right about there so that I can salvage some of that 
inside and what I've ended up with is a little flip up and what I'll do is probably make me some little um, pads. You could actually fold this up here, cut some of that off and make a matchbox. You'll be able to make a little matchbox. And let me, let's go ahead and just cut it. Let me just give you an idea. I don't want to cut all of it off, so I got to kind of give me a little mark here. To all right, so you know we'll we'll go over adding um some paper to one of these at some point, but you could actually make you a little booklet type thing. Cut it off right there. I would glue that down, and this will tuck in. Just glue it right there and there, and that will tuck in and make you a matchbox um pad. All right, so that's what I can do with part of that card. And then, of course, on the rest of the card, which it's going to um, disassemble it the same way. Let me go back again. Try to do it just about an eighth of an inch. You may not get it exact, precise. I, I do better on my guillotine with these because I can. I have a mark on there exactly where I lay it out. But I'm going to cut another one off here. That pulls the center out. You can see a lot of scrap I need to do something with. Pull the center out. Again, we will pull the matchbox piece off that we're going to make into a matchbox pad. Go ahead and salvage that much of it. Didn't go all the way through, little rascal. Now, when I'm in a hurry, that's what it does. Okay, so let's put it back down again. Make sure we're even. Okay, and just lay it aside because you're going to use that. So lay that aside. And then what we have left, of course, is the other, is the second signature in, in making our group in a four. So that, guys, is what I am doing right now. I am prepping my heart out, trying to get a bunch of these made so that when we want to mass make some, um, scrap junk journals on I mean, true junk journals we've got all these um signatures ready ready in groups to just grab and start adding stuff to so i hope you enjoyed this little um it's not a real long 50 minutes long enough a little um tutorial on how to break apart your greeting cards and use them up go ahead and start gathering your greeting cards um if you're really interested in wanting and want to buy some of the cards from me, uh, if you'll send me a comment before I completely cut them all up, and um, I've only got to say out of about three to five, somewhere between three and five hundred boxes, different sizes. I've only, I've only done about ten, so that's where I'm at. So depends on how far down the line that you're watching this video, because we will be working on this continually every day between making a video, working on our projects. We will be cutting these cards down to get them reorganized um, in our shop in, a, in an easier to handle manner. So this is Nana K saying bye bye. The series is going to be called from greeting card to junk journal. So just remember that one, two, three. I think I'm gonna add the one, two, three on from reading card to junk journal, one, two, three. And we're just gonna do a whole series of taking these things and making little um uh junk journals out of them. So now the case signing off. Stay tuned for the next video. Please like and subscribe. Below the description here, you will see um, my coffee site, my Buy Me a Cup of Coffee, my Nana K Designs, and my YouTube. Um, I now have a new YouTube blog site, social site, that you can get on. Get registered for all my sites and uh, pop me a message that you registered them all for. I will go back and verify it. And then you'll be eligible to get free downloads and your name will go into a drawing for um some happy mail and um i'll probably do it i have one happy mail a month so it uh, don't mean if you don't get it this month if you won't get it the next month so be sure to register and get start watching an account on a regular basis and see what kind of little freebies we're going to be giving away have a good day bye bye